up what's up what's going on guys it's your host invisible dfs here for segment three where we're gonna talk about my selections the main ingredient of the show where i'm gonna talk about my five players on both dk and ft side uh if you guys haven't seen the uh yesterday video as far as my cheap please please go back and check it out uh there i talk about uh not that i'm back state side we're gonna I'm gonna go with both sides, FD and DK. So the selections for the first time, we're gonna have both DK and FD together. So let's go ahead and jump to it and let's do this. All right, guys. So I'm in both DK. I got both DK and FD here. So we're gonna go ahead and do go ahead with uh, FD first. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, do uh, FD and then jump to DK and give you guys my uh, players. All right. So uh, as far as FD, the quarterback, I'm gonna go with is Kyler Murray. Uh, Kyler Murray have a great matchup against Atlanta. Uh, you know, I'm hoping Kirk plays so the offense can be a little bit more open. And of course, that will open more wounds for him to run because in the last two, three games, he has been running more than he did in the last two weeks. Uh, but with Kirk back, that will also give him a better chance as far as getting more, uh, more passing yard and touchdown wise. All right. So, uh, Kyle Murray is my quarterback at 7.7. Uh, another guy I was looking to play is a uh, 49ers quarterback. <laughs> Jimmy, but uh, I like the upside run, the upside touchdown run for him in FD. Because of that reason, I will go with Kalamori as my quarterback, and I will pair him up with Larry Fitzgerald. I, I don't always have to pair anybody up, but Larry Fitzgerald, uh, I'm hoping that's the same case. The only 5.6K is way cheaper than it is in uh, DK. So uh, Larry Fitzgerald will be my quarterback uh, uh it's a guy with kirk believe it or not with kirk he actually uh better for him he's still getting the tar targets he got eight targets but he'll get more open room with kirk because kirk is a speed guy like fisher is more like you know he got that playing this length so uh like fisher i'm hoping uh that with this game right there he'll you know with atlanta well, most likely it could be a shootout, so I'm hoping he can go ahead and pay, pay dirt there. Hopefully one to two touchdown. I'd love to see that. You only have two touchdowns for the season, but you never know. So uh, his best game was the first game of the season against Detroit. So uh, when you look at all those other teams he played against, Cincinnati, we, yes, we was expecting, especially they really bad, but uh, Seattle, Carolina, Baltimore are not bad in uh, when it's come for different side also. Uh, yeah, hoping if he can get eight targets or more, that will definitely be better, um, better than 8.8 .8 fantasy points like he had last week. So Larry Fitzgerald is my first receiver. And the second receiver I'm gonna go with, I love this guy this week. He's probably gonna be my most, the most, I'm gonna use, probably use him more than anybody else this week and that's the Washington receiver and that's of course is McLaurin. I love his matchup this week against my home state, not my team, but my home state team, the Miami Dolphins. So McLaurin at 6.4K, I was uh, in FD, I'm fine with that price, but McLaurin is the guy I'm looking to play a lot this week. So you probably see him again in uh, my DK lineup. So right now, McLaurin is my guy, all right? So McLaurin, um, yeah, last week he didn't do too much, but if you're looking at his uh, looking at his game log compared to all the other receivers in that game, they were playing New England, so of course. So McLaurin, he still end up with seven target. So I'm expecting him to, if he even got seven target this week, I expect him to do better than three catches and 51 yards all right so mclaurin is my receiver and as far as my tight end i'm gonna go with austin hooper 
I see no praise the guy. I'm gonna go with uh, against that matchup. I love that matchup against Arizona. Arizona for the last two weeks has been really good, believe it or not, against Thailand. But they're still one of the worst team against Thailand for the season. And for that reason, Austin Hooper has been getting a lot and a lot of everything in that offense. Look at this. 9, 11, 7, 6, 9. Uh, with that price, he's the fourth price tight end. But I don't mind that at all because uh, uh, he's right now, he's basically right now the best tight end. As far as fantasy points in the NFL, so Austin Hooper is my tight end for this week. And as far as my running back guys, I'm gonna go all the way on top. Not Elliot. Elliot, I think gonna have a great game this week. But I decided to go with Cook there. Cook, yes, Philadelphia uh, is not bad against uh, the run, but Cook is a guy that's doing everything right now. So uh, I decided to go with Cook and save that 300 over Elliot. Cook is my running back this week. So uh, for FD guys, my five players are Kyle Murray, Dalvin Cook, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, you know, with Kyle Murray there, Terry McLaurin, and Austin Hooper. Those are my five players. So um, let's go ahead and jump to DK and see what I got for you guys. Uh, as far as DK, my quarterback, I decided to go with Matt Ryan. I mean, Matt Ryan is actually more expensive in every than DK, but in DK is cheaper than, I mean, is <laughs> more expensive than Maury in FD than DK, but in DK is cheaper and against Arizona, I'm gonna go with Matt Ryan there. This guy, it's like they don't even look at running the ball. A lot of times because they are behind, but I don't even think they are trying to run the ball. So. Matt Ryan right now, Matt Ryan, with what he's been doing, throwing the ball over 300 yards in like almost every game this season. So Matt Ryan is the guy I'm going to go with. So if you're looking at his game log, uh, for the sake, I mean, this guy in five games, 222 at them. That is insane. So Matt Ryan is the guy I'm going with over 200 yards in every game this season. So Matt Ryan is my quarterback. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pair him with his tight end. So I, I'm going to go with his tight end. Uh, he's, a little, he's not the foot most expensive. He's actually, uh, where is it, at 5K. To, to, he's also the foot most expensive tight end. So, but I love... Hooper this week a lot against Arizona. So for that reason, you're going to get him in both of my lineups, both GK and FD. So let's go ahead and jump to a uh, wide receiver. All right. Here, you know, for running back, let me do the uh, receiver first. And then I will explain what, what, what I was trying to say. So I'm going to go with Park here. You know, at first I didn't want to play him because I really wanted to play Jack's running back because of the volume he's been getting. But I decided to go with the receiver rather than the running back. So Chuck is my receiver. I mean, like, this guy has been the best receiver so far. Uh, look at that. 11, 9 in the last... I mean, he's been getting 37 targets. You know, last five games that's over seven targets a game so uh against new orleans which most likely that's a game jacksonville can keep it close so and even if they can't that's mean they're gonna have to throw the ball a little bit more and the quarterback's been actually throwing the ball a lot so and then he's always looking for dj chark jr as his Men to guys, so for that reason, I like Charles Jr. at only 5.5k compared to 6.6, I believe, in uh, or 6.5. Uh, let's jump in there. Let's see, let's go to receiver. Okay, let's put Chuck so it's 6.5, so 1k more. Uh, so basically. I'm gonna go with him in FD in DK as my receiver and my second receiver guys uh, you know it's hard for me 
I try everything I can not to play McLaurin in both, uh, but I like the guy so much, so I'm sticking because he's probably my favorite play this week. So I'm sticking with him as he, my uh, second receiver. You know, I was thinking of Julio Jones, but the fact that he's 8K and there's a lot of receivers, I feel like that's gonna do better than him at 6K, even though he could have a great game. Uh, I decided not to go with Julio Jones because I like uh, Dallas receiver more than I like Julio Jones, and he's like almost basically a thousand dollar cheaper. So I'm gonna stick with McLaurin both here. Yeah, so McLaurin and Hooper is the only players I have in both lineups so far. And as far as uh, my running back here, you know, yes, the top two guys. They're probably the best two plays of the week, but I love, I love the guys that are 6K. Like, I love Fournette, I love Engram, and even Bell, and Henry, and Carson. I like all those guys, basically, almost like equally, you know, but I decided, but between Henry and Carson, you know, I'm looking at uh, the matchup, what's happened to Cleveland on Monday night, and how the running back just 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 went nuts against Cleveland so but I decided to go with Henry here over Carson you know it was a hard choice so you know first I decided I was gonna go with Fournette but because I wanted Chuck I decided I'm like nah I'm not gonna do that so I decided and so I, my other two choices was between Carson and Henry so I decided to go with Henry Henry is the guy I decided to go with so uh, basically Anyway, if you look at him right now, he's a part of the offense right now. He's carrying the ball. Yes, 78 yards in 20 carries is not good, but they're playing the Bills. So, against Denver, Denver, you know, yes, we probably have that tendency that Denver has a great defense, but that's not the case this year. So, and anyway, he's a big part of the offense right now. So, because of that reason, anyway, is the guy I'm going to go with. So, Basically, guys, my five players for ZK is Matt Ryan, pairing them up with Hooper, and then I have McLaurin, Chuck, and Henry. All right, so you have a remaining salary of 21000 for four players. And uh, defense, you can, you know, Jets actually hasn't been bad in D, and they're only 1.5K, so that's, if you want to go ahead and go that way, uh, I, I'm definitely gonna take a chance with the chat. All right, but anyway, guys, um, those are my. Uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, what I'm doing right now, as far as getting both sides in there. Talk about it a little bit of both. So you know, I'm trying to please the FD uh, uh, fantasy players too. So, and of course, hopefully this way will help me be able to build my channel. So again, let's go ahead and see the players that are for you guys. I have Kyle Murray. And Dalvin Cook, Larry Fitzgerald, Terry McLaurin, and Austin Hooper in FD, and ZK Matt Ryan, uh, Henry, Chuck, McLaurin, and Hooper. Hey guys, good luck. I appreciate you guys. Please, if you haven't checked my cheap plays yet, I'm going to go ahead and uh, link it to this video so you guys all oh, just search for, uh, you know, Invisible DFS cheap plays. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and check out this video. Again, guys, good luck. Please don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. All right? As I always mention, don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. There's a lot of cheap, cheap uh, games you guys can play. There's $0.05, cent, $0.10, cents, $0.25. Cents. So if that's the one you guys have to try to see where you guys are at before you guys go to the big guns, do that. All right? Um, I would appreciate you guys. Uh, sign up, subscribe, uh, turn on your notification. Again, good luck, and I will see you guys Fridays with my final looks. I'm out.